Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to get the front axle mounted to the spring. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so I got the axle mounted to the front end now. Um, as you can see, I got those bat wings welded on there and I made the, the spring shackles. Um, when I welded these pieces on here, I tried to keep them as close to vertical as I could because um, that's what I thought would kind of look best. Um, what you saw me doing with this, this bolt with the wire on there is I made some marks on the wire up here. I don't know if you can see them, but they're about a quarter inch apart and I would put the bolt down here in the kingpin hole and make little marks um, where I put those marks here so I could measure where to put um, these bat wings on there relative to each other. And that would make sure that they're, they're both um, the same distance from either end and that the axle would be centered. And it worked out pretty well. I think it turned out, it turned out really nice, they're nice and centered. So that should, that should work great. I got the, the spring eyelets here welded in fully on the front and back and I kind of ground this side down flush so that'll look really nice. This grease fitting here will go right in like that. Um, other than that, you didn't see me make them but I, had, I did make some, some kind of some test pieces here for these shackles to get the to get them how I want to. As you can see with these, that one hole on the bottom is much bigger than the top because I still haven't made a brass bushing for this piece yet here. So this side, this the hole here is still um, 5 8 and the bolt's going to be a half inch. So I'm going to need to make a, a bushing for that, which will be coming up pretty soon. And also, when you can see, I made these. I threaded this end and just kept this side. Um, half inch because you can see I'm not working with too much clearance there um, for this axle so there's not room to there's no room there to put the bolt all the way through and have a nut on the other side so that's the the, the axle then the next thing would be probably um, once I make these bolts and get those bushings figured out then I can work on making the the radius rods that come out to attach to the frame and that should be a lot of fun because that's going to be a big step and give it a, give it really get an idea of how the front end is going to, going to look. So I'm excited for that. This is a shorter video today. I know I haven't had a ton of time to work on this, but I've been getting down here as often as I, as I can really. And also this next week I'm going to be on vacation. So next week's video um, will probably be a few days late, just so you know. Anyways, that's that's pretty much all I have for you today. This project's been coming along really nicely. I'm very happy with it so far. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.